Hi there, it's Lindsay, the Frugal Crafter here with a fun tutorial for you today. Um, if you've been visiting blogs lately or shopping on Etsy, you've seen the lovely um, crinkled seam binding for sale. Isn't this crinkly ribbon just pretty? Um, I've made a bunch of different colors here and really the only thing you need to make this is some seam binding. And what I'm using here is the Hug Snug Seam Binding and I purchased it through truesew.com, which is a um, sewing supplier. And you get 100 yards, it's $9.50 a roll, and um, they ship two rolls for $4.50, so I bought it there because the shipping was very reasonable, and um, I do like the quality of this product, so um, that's what I'm using today. And I'm going to be coloring my ribbon with my homemade color washes and my homemade um, glimmer mist. So it's very easy, you've probably got the things right on hand to make it. Anyway, all right, you'll see that the seam binding, you can get it in a variety of colors, but I've chose white and I've chose natural because I figured that would give me the most versatility. I will say though, I prefer the natural. It's just a hair darker. If you can make out the difference on the video, it's just a hair darker, but um, it takes the crinkle a lot better. It seems to be a little bit less tightly woven. It's also a tiny bit wider. Um, but it doesn't matter, you can get whatever kind you want. Next time I'm going to order two rolls of the uh, natural instead of one of each, I think. So the first thing you want to do is um, snip off some ribbon from the roll, so that way you don't contaminate your roll when you're dyeing it. I'm going to snip off some white and some natural just to show you how differently they crinkle. I imagine the colored ones crinkle similar to the white. They all crinkle really well though, so you can purchase whatever you like. All right, the first thing you do is take plain water and you want to wet down the ribbon. You don't need to soak it. It doesn't need to get that wet. It'll dry quicker if you just um, wet it with a spray bottle. And just scrunch it up. Now, if you want just crinkled white or crinkled natural or crinkled whatever color you purchased, you can do that and just leave it alone. See how easily the uh, natural ribbon crinkles? I hope I'm getting that in frame. And the white doesn't have such an intense crinkle, but it crinkles really well. So either way, you'll be fine with whichever kind you purchase. All right, but I think it's really fun to add color. Now, I make my own color sprays and glimmer mists, and what I use for a base is liquid watercolor and generally this is sold to school supplies and um, art teachers and whatnot you usually have to get it online but um, you get a big bottle eight ounces for two or three dollars as opposed to a tiny little bottle of reinker that's only like an ounce or a half an ounce or something so it's such a great deal and the color is just as intense as your reinkers that you buy for your stamp pads but it just works great and i've had these for 10 years i use them all the time and they don't wear out it's you, it's, it's hard work to use them up. I think I'm going to start with some pink. And I got these little sprayers at Walmart. They're 50 cents a piece. Let's get a couple shots of color here. I'm working on freezer paper so I can just um, soak up my leftover color. That, that. You'll notice that the natural will just give you a softer look. The natural ribbon. See, this is it on the white. It's a kind of fluorescent. And on the natural, it's much softer. Now, if you don't want it any darker, you can just spray it with water to blend. But I think I want to make it look a little bit more antique. So I'm going to pull out a moldy oldie here. This is the uh, um, walnut ink that was very popular when I first got into st stamping and scrapbooking about 10 years ago. And I'm going to just spray this with some walnut ink, and that's going to age it. I'm going to pick up. I don't like to waste my color. I'm going to pick up all my color there. And if you want it really blended, you can add more water, or you can let it be kind of variegated. Look at this. It's really, really pretty. Let me see if I can get a nice close-up for you. I need a camera person. <laughs> I need volunteers. And hopefully this is in frame and you can see the lovely variegated color here. Uh, if not, I'll take some still shots so you'll be able to see that. It's just really lovely. Now, if you want to add a uh, second color, you could do that. Say if you wanted some purple, you could just grab a spray of um, purple and just kind of give it a couple squirts and then just leave it two-toned or blend it more if you like. I like the, kind of the two-toned look. kind of has a tie-dyed look to it. Let me see if I can get that as a close-up here. 
Now I dilute the um, liquid watercolor about 10 parts water, one part color, and that's really dark. So you can you can see that that will last you a long time. Um, most major art suppliers will carry it, like Dick Blick. I got mine from SNS Recreation, which is more of a school supply store. But you know, whatever, wherever, you, whenever you're making your next art supply order, you can check and see if they carry Thank it. Thank you for watching. I do hope you give it a try. Till next time, happy crafting.